Hi everyone, this is Bing Yang Song. I'm a fourth year PhD student in CPAS. Today I'm going to show my work on a 2 volt gate driver power supply with PCB embedded transformer substrate. The high DVDT and high switching frequency of the wideband gap devices will increase EMI noise in the converter system. The EMI noise will flow through the high side gate driver and its isolated power supply. It will affect a safe operation of the gate driver. To this end, a low isolation capacitance in the isolated gate driver power supply is desired. In the commercial products, a smaller isolation capacitance will lead to a larger power converter volume because a smaller isolation capacitance requires a larger distance between the transformer primary side and secondary side. The challenge of the work is to design a gate drive power supply with ultra-low isolation capacitance as well as high power density and high efficiency. The design power supply has 15 volt input and two 7 volt output, generating 1 volt each. The design converter uses active clamp flyback topology. Both switches can have zero voltage turn-on. The secondary side out can have zero current turn-on and turn-off. The transformer design goes as the right figure shows. The green background is PCB material, which is FR4 for low temperature operation and Panasonic Mactron 2 for high temperature application. The black part is toroidal ferrite core. The windings are twisted around the core. The winding is composed by top and bottom PCB traces and the vertical via holes. An optimization on the core and winding dimensions is performed to have a smaller isolation capacitance, a smaller transformer volume, and a smaller transformer loss. Two converter samples are fabricated and tested. The measured efficiency of sample 2 is 85% with 1 MHz switching frequency. The converter size is 13 mm by 13 mm by 2.4 mm. The isolation capacitance of the transformer is measured as 1.6 picofarad. The isolation voltage can be as high as 2 kV. This is PCB embedded transformer. The green part is IFR4 PCB material. The black part is the core. This is a primary winding. This is two secondary winding. The winding is fabricated by PCB traces and the VA holes. This is a converter hardware with PCB embedded transformer substrate. The circuit layer is connected to the transformer substrate with one more PCB lamination process. On the circular layer, those are two EPC gains with each gate driver. These are two symmetric secondary side outputs. The converter bottom layer is covered by PCB material to increase isolation voltage between the primary side and secondary side. The blue waveform is output voltage, which is 7 volt DC. The yellow waveform is VDS of the primary switch. The green waveform is primary side transformer current. When the primary switch is off, the leakage inductor is redundant with the clamp capacitor. Before S1 turns on, the leakage inductor will discharge the junction capacitor, and therefore the primary switch will have a DBS turn on. Besides, while the secondary is turning off, the leakage inductor current is the same as magnetic inductor current. The dial will have a DCS turn off. That's all, thank you.